it's been such a pleasure to have you on. If you wouldn't mind, just one more question, then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, please. please. Uh, with uh, this, what what I think we will see as Ron Paul's last run for the presidency, it seems to have kind of invigorated in the youth a um, an interest in the philosophy of liberty. Where do you see uh, this uh, increased interest in libertarianism or anarchism in the youth going in the near future, and where would you like to see it go? Oh, good. So you dropped me a nice, easy question to close off with this. <laughs> it's going to come back to haunt me. We're going to go to Mars and beyond. Um, um, well, look, I, I'm never going to complain about people who come to philosophy from oblique, in oblique ways. If it comes through politics, if it comes through objectivism, if it comes through, you know, wherever. I think, you know, it's great to get you started. The only thing that I would say to people is don't assume and don't stop. Don't assume that where you think freedom can come from is where it can actually come from. Be critical, be skeptical, and for heaven's sakes above, please, people, look at history. You know, those who do not remember the past are always condemned to repeat it. We have, in 2012, significant statistical, historical, real reasons to be skeptical of the value of political action. Uh, read Brian Kaplan's The Myth of the Rational Voter. Um, uh, read my How Not to Achieve Freedom book. Um, just, just be skeptical. People have been trying to solve the problem of the state through politics, through voting, through laws, through repealing laws, for literally thousands of years, and more specifically, 300 to 150 years to 40 years from, you know, Adam Smith to classical liberalism to modern political libertarianism. And where we've ended up with is the largest, most indebted, most heavily armed, most powerful, most aggressive state that the world has ever seen. That is not a good track record. That does not indicate that we are going in the right direction. Academia and politics are interesting ways to begin the journey. Do not assume that that is where the journey will end. Be skeptical of it. Be skeptical of it. There are things that you can do in your own life that will have a much more powerful and foundational, verifiable, turtle getting over the finish line, not hair running around the tree till it falls over, way of getting to the future. Be peaceful with your children. Do not aggress in your relationships. Confront those who support the aggression against you with the reality of the gun that they're introducing into your relationship. Make the violence of the state real to people. However much they squirm and avoid it, it's something we need to show them. The gun in the room that is there when people say there ought to be a law, that is there when people say you must pay your taxes, that is there when people say you must obey the law no matter how unjust, that is there when people say you must fund government education, that is there when people say, by God, we've got to help the poor through the state. When people say, how can we have a world free from war, war because I can't figure out how the free market might build a goddamn road? Confront people with the violence Amen. that they accept and advocate within the system. Live peacefully within your own family and particularly with your own children. That is the sure, scientific, statistical, valid path to a free and peaceful future. Do not get distracted by the easy, quick heroin hits of writing books, reading books, and, and going to political rallies. It may make you feel good, but it is knocking bricks down of the road that we need to build. It's not putting them one in front of the other. It's backbreaking. It's slow. It's laborious. And I guarantee you it will get us there. You know, I'm excited where the liberty movement is now, especially with Ron Paul invigorating, reinvigorating Austrian ideas. We haven't seen anything like this since 74 uh, when Hayek won the Nobel Prize and, and Austrian ideas were on the forefront again. But there's a lot of libertarians who are very zealous about their devotion to the Constitution. And I'm afraid that we're going to kind of fall back into the same cycle where this Constitution has just fa it's failed to restrain the powers of government and it's going to fail again. I mean, I, I, and it's, it's hard to convince people, you know, I mean, it, certainly all of us have kind of gone down that rabbit hole of, of being introduced to minarchism and, and Ron Paul and then kind of rejecting and, and, and being unable to justify uh, the powers of the state and, and, its, and its own responsibilities, you see that markets work a lot better. And eventually you have to admit to yourself that you're an anarchist.